everybody, Peppa Priya from Heron's Bonsai here again. Um, I'm going to try out a method I've never tried before, um, so I thought I might share it with you whilst I'm having a go, and maybe we can follow it through in a follow-up video to see if it actually worked or not. Um, you've probably seen our videos on air layering, uh, but there is also another technique that is called ground layering. So. Um, this probably isn't maybe my choice that I would use, but uh, for the sake of uh, filming, I just thought it would be a really easy uh, specimen for you to see what's going on. So this is a pine, I think it's probably a black pine, I'm not absolutely sure. Um, and normally what we would be doing is, is growing these and cutting them down, growing them and cutting them down, as usual. But um, when you cut stuff down, obviously you're wasting quite a lot of material um, that you might be able to use so what you can do instead of just cutting that and throwing it away is you can do what's called ground layering so what you're going to need uh, for this is a little bit of sphagnum moss uh, a drainage medium a weight of some description this is just a piece of rock i've found in the field um, some hormone rooting powder, if you like to use that sort of thing, and uh, a couple of tools, um, a brush for application of the uh, hormone rooting, a good sharp knife, and uh, something to dig a hole with, so I'm just using this uh, bespoke Japanese root tool. So the idea of ground layering is, is that you take a stem of a tree that's low to the ground and then essentially bury it in the ground and try and get it to root from a point back here whilst keeping the rest of the tree. So first thing to do is just take off any of the needles that you're not going to want to use. So you can see where the needles grow there's quite a few uh, um, where, the, where the needles join the branch there's quite a few little points of, of uh, high growth potential so this is the piece that I'm actually going to choose to try and get to root into the ground so I'm not going to need this piece here so we can probably remove that so I just take that off and uh, this one here again I'll just take that off okay uh, one thing that you might want to consider doing is, is that if I just lay this, air layered this in the ground like this and staked it up, um, we're missing out um, on a potential to put some movement into a tree. Okay, so what I've done is I've brought a piece of wire. I'm just going to wrap this around the tree loosely. Nothing too special at this stage. Um, and then as we would do normally, just put a bit of movement into this. So maybe creating something of a sort of bonsai shape uh, right from the word go. And then the next job is to just remove piece of the cambium layer like we would do on a normal air layering and it's this area that I'm hoping the roots will sprout from so I'm just going to dig a hole of where I think that's going to be so somewhere there So I've now got myself a little hole down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of my drainage medium in the bottom. And then I'm going to put a layer of sphagnum moss. And then what I'm going to do is orientate my tree 
into that gap. And then what I'm gonna do to try and hold it down, that's what the rock's for, is put the rock on top of it. But just before I do that, I'll put some more of this drainage medium on the top. And then I can put my rock on that like that. And hopefully that's gonna hold that down. Um, so I did bring a stick to wire this too, but I don't think it really needs it. But I'm gonna put it there as a marker because when Steve's out, doing the lawn mower in he might mow straight over that and that quite simply is the technique as I've seen um, done but as I said I've never tried this before so it is a bit of an experiment so we'll come back in about six months time and see whether we've managed to propagate this pine and given ourselves a new starter tree so thanks for watching uh, see you again next time